Hello everyone. So in today's video, I will be addressing this issue that a lot of men seem to be having in their relationship or marriage. And this issue is the need for sex. Most men are married, but if you ask them, when was the last time you made love to your wife? Some of them will say, um, it's been weeks now. It's been months now. I mean, it's been a long while. These are some of the answer that some men will give if you should ask them when was the last time they have sex with their wife and the reason for that is because their wives keep on withholding sex from them and because of that they are burning in their marriage a lot of men are married and they look happily married but they are not happy many of them are suffering from a lack of sex a lot of men are dying and just just imagine being married and in marriage you're supposed to enjoy sexual in intimacy because you know um the bible said it's best to marry than to burn but the reality is that a lot of men are married but they're still burning because their wives do not want to have sex with them and when you when you find out the reason behind it some of the times these ladies they will say that they have to have to go to church they're not in the mood you know they have so many um petty excuses and some of the times these ladies they keep on using god Oh, they have to, they have to seek God and they have to do this. And this is the reason why they can't have sex for weeks, for months. This is not right. This is not right. When you get married, I am not saying that as a wife, you should not fast and you should not pray and seek God. I am not saying that because all of that is important. You need to fast, you need to pray, and you need to, to consult God when you're married. But you must live a balanced life. As a woman, you are supposed to live a balanced life and you're supposed to build your home. Because the Bible said a wise woman build her home. It doesn't make sense if you are going to seek God and pray to God and say that you are having a healthy relationship with God, but your husband is unhappy. When your husband look at you, your husband is not pleased. You're pleasing God, which is good. You're pleasing your pastor. You're pleasing everybody else, but you're not pleasing your husband. That is not right. When you say that you are a wife, you must learn to play your role as a wife. And one of the role as a wife is to satisfy her man. She must satisfy her husband. So this excuse that a lot of females are coming up with that, oh, because I have church and because I have to fast and because I have to seek God, I can't have sex with him for weeks and for months. Remember, we are humans. Remember, that man, I'm speaking to the ladies. Remember, that man is human and he has emotions and he has sexual urges. The urges will come. And one of the reasons why he gets married to you is so that you can help him to, to satisfy those urges. So when the urges come, he doesn't have to commit fornication and sin against God. Ask yourself the question, what's the purpose of getting married? If you cannot satisfy your husband, what's the purpose of getting married if you cannot play your role as a wife? Because when we get married, it's not about us. It's not about when we want to, to have sex or when we want to, to do certain things. When we get married, our bodies no longer belong to us. So we don't have any right over our bodies. We don't have any control over our bodies to say that 
I will have sex with my husband whenever I choose to. We don't have that right. We lost that right the moment we enter marriage. So whenever our husband decides that he wants to have sex, we have no right as a wife to say no. So for those who are married, I want to say this to you. If you are if you are punishing your husband and saying to him that I don't want I I don't want to have sex with you until I'm ready. You need to go and repent and make it right. You can't be praying and seeking God and saying you have the Holy Spirit and you see absolutely nothing wrong with how you're treating your husband, how you're starving him in the bedroom. And if someone else should should come in the picture and take him away, you're going to curse at him and say, oh, he's a cheater. He cheated on you. He committed um, adultery. And you're going to blame him and you're going to argue and you're going to tell the church. You're going to report it to the church that your husband cheated on you. But I'm sure you're not going to report to the church and tell the church how you have been starving your husband. So ladies, stop starving your husband. Stop punishing your husband. Your body belongs to him and his body belongs to you. And one of your role as a wife is to satisfy him sexually in the bedroom. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Don't tell me you have to fast and you have to seek God so you cannot have intimacy with your husband don't tell me that oh you're on 21 days fast so you cannot you cannot break it because you know you you're, you're protecting your your fasting and you're you're honoring your fasting honor your husband learn to honor your husband tomorrow is valentine day give yourself to your husband as much as god would want you to give yourself to him God also wants you to give yourself to your husband. He's yours. Both of you are one. So learn to make your man happy. Ladies, you must learn to make your man happy. Not just spiritually, but in every other alleys. Ensure that your man is happy. You must add joy to his life. It's good for a man to have a prayer warrior as a wife. But he also needs someone who can satisfy him in the bedroom. Someone who he can look at and be well pleased. You know, just as how um, Adam saw Eve and was like, This is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Your husband wants to have that encounter with you in the bedroom. So ladies, free up yourself a little bit. Free up yourself a little bit. Take a break from the fasting. Take a break from the spiritual activities and just give yourself away to your husband. And, and if you haven't planned anything exciting for tomorrow, you can use that moment now and start planning for tomorrow and just have fun with your husband. Celebrate these moments because these moments, you will not always have them, especially if you are young. When you are young, this is the moment to celebrate and to enjoy your marriage. Enjoy your wife. Young men, enjoy your wife. And young women, enjoy your husband. So these are my few words of encouragement to you. And I hope that you will put them into practice. Don't just listen, but put them into practice. All right. So ladies, stop starving your husband. Give it to him and let him enjoy it. It belongs to him.